Hello everyone, my name is Jen Clark and I am Elka Clark's daughter. I am sure you've seen some of my featured blog posts on ElkaClark.com. Today I thought that we would do something really cool and different by answering one of your questions in a video format rather than in a blog post. I'm going to show you how to create cut out photo templates for designs on Zazzle and I am focusing on the holiday cards because obviously the holiday season is coming up very soon and everyone is designing all of these great holiday cards for the Christmas season. So this is a design that I personally made and I wanted to show you how you can do these three cutouts here on this card um, because it's a little bit different than just placing a photo up at the top and then you have your design at the bottom. It's not that hard, it's very easy, but what you have to take in mind is some precautions, especially when you post it on Zazzle, and I'll get into that in a couple minutes. But I wanted to show you that this is a very simple cutout. There are some other really cool ones, like this one, for example, where they've got squares, verticals, horizontals, designs here. I'm going to show you how to make this one easily, but you can use the same technique to create that exact card that I just showed you right here. So I'm going to go into Photoshop. And I've already created this document, but I wanted to show you how easy it is. So, as you can see here, I've got all my layers, and I've literally got rectangles. And what I did was I used my rulers here at the top to make sure that I have placed my rectangles in a proportionate size to make it look good. So, I used one rectangle, and as you can see here, it's right there, one rectangle from three inches downwards. Then I did another rectangle up at the top here that was 0.5 inches horizontally here. Then what I did was I decided to create borders on the side here. So this rectangle and this rectangle, which are also 0.5 in dimension, to create a border on the outside. And then what I did was this space in here, I wanted it to have 0.5 of a space here to create a frame. So what I did was I divided this area, which was originally 7 across, because I had 0.5 on each side, then it became 6, which is this dimension here. Then because I wanted to have 0.5 of a border on each frame here, then I had to measure in that, that I was taking out 1 inch of space again. So in the end, I had 5 inches across, to play with for three photos and it became that each photo then needed to occupy 1.67 inches worth of space. So as you can see then I counted with my rulers 1.67 and I added my frame here and I did another one here and I added another frame. So then now I have three perfectly equal photo cutouts available for my pictures. And as you can see, it's really, really simple to do this with rectangles. All you need to do now is merge these if you want or to save it as a PNG. There are many other ways to do this as well. I just find that this is the most simplistic way because then I can actually manipulate the dimensions of my frames. I can make them smaller or bigger based on my rectangle sizes and looking at my rulers. So here now we've created our cut out photo template and what I want to show you now is that this obviously is a little bit more decorative. I've added some more designs here and some text, obviously, but it's the basic template that I've used here. Now, what you need to do is obviously choose your photos that you want to add in as your templates. And I've chosen these three. And as you can see, if I go in and I customize these photos, I have made these images more or less around this vertical size here. But what I wanted to say is that when someone goes in and decides to change these images, for example, they've decided that they want to use a horizontal image. I'll just click back on this. They've decided now that they don't have any vertical images, but they really like this design and they want to use a horizontal that they have. Well, I created this product a long time ago, about a couple years ago, and I did not do my templates properly. 
As you can see, I assumed that everyone who was going to buy this product would use a vertical picture, but they didn't. And I can see now that if you put in a horizontal image here, my images overlap because I made these specifically sized for this product, but I didn't take it into account that maybe someone would use a horizontal photo or that they would use a bigger photo than I originally put in. So what I'm going to say to you is choose vertical photos or photos that fit quite perfectly into these boxes here that you've created or whatever dimensions you've decided to do, whether it be squares, circles, whatever. Make sure the photo that you've chosen is more or less correct for that space. Now what I want to show you is that you need to make sure that on your more options here for your photos, you need to have the fill option selected. I made the mistake of always creating it with none but you need to make sure that you use the fill because this means that even though if you have this original photo here or for example this one that I had here and if you change the picture whatever size the picture is if it's vertical horizontal circle etc it's going to occupy the space that you originally had for your photo so I want to say and explain this a little bit better. I have now customized my original product here to have that fill option. This is brand new. It's the same product, but I redid it. Now the templates work. Now if I go in and I change the exact same picture that I did originally with the horizontal photo here, what happens is, is that the photo stays within the boundaries of the original photo. And even though this photo isn't the greatest because these people are cut off, as you can see, customers will have less of a hard time trying to figure out what the heck is going on with your product because your photo now actually fits in with this spot. It doesn't overlap your other photos. So make sure that you have the fill option clicked on when you create your photo template. And now your customers will have a much easier time customizing your beautiful cut out photo template. So I wanted to say thank you very, very, very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this little short tutorial on how to do photo cutout templates for Zazzle. If you have any other questions or comments, please comment down below. If you liked this type of video, let me know and we'll do some more in the future. And if you want to have any other question answered where I can make a short little video for you explaining it on how to do things on Zazzle, I will be thrilled to do that for you. So please let us know, comment, and I hope that you like this video and I will see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.